Uh, hey, Dave. Hi, uh, hey, Tim. How y'all doing today? Good. How are you? Uh, pretty good. Pretty good. Just here living life, living life. So my questions for both you guys, Harv and Tom, what was the inspiration to create this show? Uh, Harv? Inspiration. Um, you know, I think we both, well, you know, obviously we're big stop motion fans. And I think um, Rudolph, you know, when, when I was a kid watching that was, was really inspiring. And um, I was always a big fan of the textures and the imperfections of the show. Like you'd compare that to like a, like a 2D show and it just felt uh, organic and fun. So I think, that was just a place that uh, was always having a stop motion show like that was something I always wanted to do. And then uh, Root, want to talk about that amazing inspirational whiteboard? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we knew we wanted to, yeah, we wanted to make this textured stop motion show, um, but we wanted to, you know, to, uh, we, we needed a story and we needed a universe. And I just started drawing a map on the whiteboard at the office that had a castle at the center of it and building out from the castle, uh, I'd put these environments that kind of were, that worked like uh, play sets, like toy play sets. <laughs> um, and they all seemed really interesting places to tell stories. So you'd have a castle and a pirate ship and a haunted mountain and uh, a swamp and a mermaid pond and uh, <laughs> you know, a farm and, uh, like a village where the squire could grow up and come from and like um, and the farther to the edges of the map you got the weirder it would get and it really felt like there was no limit to the stories we could tell um, and that's sort of how we started shaping this thing it's like how can we give ourselves the most options for later um, and it ended up being this story Sweet, man. I dig it. I dig it. I love the show. I love the characters. I like the way you guys have the jokes in between the storyline there. Thank you all both for that, you know? You're very welcome. I'm glad you like it. Yeah. yeah. So another question I had was, uh, is there a character that you can relate to from the show? And why is it broth? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think we uh, all wish we were broth. Yeah. <laughs> There's, it's funny because they're all relatable in some ways, you know, like um, I like to think sometimes that there's a little bit of Patrick in me. I wish there was more, um, you know, the king, unfortunately, comes rearing his ugly head sometimes. But I think there's a little bit of every character in me. Root? Yeah. Yeah, I think like uh, I'm a worrier the way Patrick is a worrier. <laughs> but I'm also like. Uh, like Princess Blossoms, like says things out loud that I wish I could say out loud, like because she's unfiltered. Like unfiltered. we all want to be unfiltered the way she is, and uh, yeah, it's like um, little bits of yourself get put into all of these characters. Awesome, awesome, thank you. And last question: What do y'all want the fans to know more about Crossing Swords? Root, what's in there? Well, I think like if uh, if they haven't given it a try, um, I don't know what they're waiting for. I think um, the the barrier to entry for this show could be the look of it, and I promise you, if you let yourself uh, get immersed in this world for a few minutes, uh, <laughs> you're you're gonna like spending time there. Yeah. So I think uh, this is one show where if you give it a try, um, you know, it's, it looks different than everything else. Uh, it might be something that you'd be inclined to, to skip because it looks so unfamiliar to you. Uh, but once you try it, I think you're really going to uh, get hooked on it. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you both for the interview as well as uh, creating the show. It's hilarious. and I love it, you know? Great. Thank you Thank very you. much. Awesome. Thank you.